Hello, welcome to Cooking with Benedicta in Taste Buds Kitchen. Today, I'm going to be showing you what I did with my toasted crostinis or my bruschetta slices. If you haven't watched my video on how to make your toasted crostinis or bruschetta slices, please watch my previous video on how to make your toasted crostini slices using olive oil, garlic, butter, and a bit of black pepper and salt. Before I continue with today's cooking, I'd like you to hit the subscribe button. That is, if you haven't already subscribed to our YouTube channel. It is Tastebots NG on YouTube. So today we're gonna be preparing avocado, tomatoes, and feta cheese bruschetta slices. So I'm gonna be mixing everything in this bowl using a bit of olive oil. You can see I already have my avocado, tomatoes, and feta cheese, and I'm just gonna put a pinch of salt and a pinch of black pepper, some chopped basil, and I'm going to be drizzling a bit of freshly squeezed orange or uh, lemon juice. I'm going to be using my fingers as a filtration device for this. I love to do this to prevent the seeds from the lemon from getting into a mix. Now, remember, I'm going to be putting this feta cheese at the last, as the last part of this mixture because the feta cheese is very delicate and we do not want it to get all mashed up in the mixture. So when you're stirring in your feta cheese, you have to do it delicately. Yes, you have to stir it in gently because you do not want your feta cheese to be all mashed up. You still want to be able to enjoy the feta cheese, the taste of the feta cheese on your bruschetta slices without getting it all mixed up with olive oil and the avocado so remember this is a very important part of the mixture at this point you can taste for salt and pepper if you like to make it a bit more spicy you can add a bit more black pepper but if you're good with the mixture just go right ahead and top up your toasted bruschetta slices with your toppings so i'm just going to do this on all the bruschetta slices and then it's all ready to be eaten it's ready to be served it's so simple guys and it's extremely delicious i couldn't wait to finish this illustration to have a bite <laughs> it is actually one of my favorite bruschetta toppings the tomato, avocado, and feta cheese toppings. I think you guys should try this at home. It is very simple to mix. In less than three to five minutes, voila, it's ready. It is crisp and crunchy on the inside and it's very buttery and creamy on the outside. And of course, I love the tiny bit of spice the black pepper adds to it. Now, this is just a topping or a type of topping for your bruschetta slices. We have dozens of other types of toppings that you would love to have on your bruschetta slices. You can have parmesan cheese with some grilled chicken and some salsa topping on your bruschetta slices. You can have some spinach and some avocado, tomatoes, and ham on bruschetta slices as well. So the options are endless. You've got this whole opportunity of putting up whatever toppings that you like on your bruschetta slices. I think for me that is why I love the snack 
that is why I love it as a finger food as an oldies as a starter because it affords you the luxury of just coming up with different types of toppings so guys I think you should really try this at home and be creative put on whatever type of toppings that you like okay and please share your pictures with us and let us know how you loved this recipe. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.